In this video we'll be looking at Ethereum, the digital currency rallying to take Bitcoin's crown. It has experienced steady upward growth since its introduction in 2015. We will cover the following. 1. Understanding what is Ethereum and the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum. 2. Understanding smart contracts and blockchain. 3. Understanding the value of Ethereum and real-life use cases. With its technological innovation and success, Bitcoin blazed a trail that new competitors are following. And right now, Ethereum is Bitcoin's biggest threat. Despite its advantages, Bitcoin has some flaws. For one thing, it's too rigid and limited. The Bitcoin network is capable of processing only 7 transactions per second. That may work when there are only a few thousand users but not millions. For the sake of comparison, Visa processes thousands of transactions per second. Furthermore, developers can't build apps on Bitcoin. The system's primary role is to safely transfer value, not to create software or add functions. This is intentional. Bitcoin was deliberately constrained to make it more secure. Ether, which runs on the broader system called Ethereum, is more flexible. In addition to creating and housing the cryptocurrency Ether, Ethereum also offers a way to create online markets and programmable transactions known as smart contracts. Smart contracts function like software programs that use business logic, meaning rules about money transfers, stocks, interest payments, debt, and more. Ethereum also has a built-in programming language that lets anyone build apps. One app lets farmers sell their produce directly to consumers. Another offers crop insurance that pays farmers if bad weather damages their harvests. There's an app for flight insurance. You send Ether to a smart contract and if your flight is delayed, you receive an automatic payout in return. There are games and lotteries, as well. Sports fans can bet on competitions directly with Ether automatically paid out to the winner as soon as the final score is reported. There's an app that enables music distribution and another that allows for a new kind of financial auditing. Ethereum's wide open world of limitless possibilities has caught the attention of Fortune 500 companies. Many companies have launched a project to make Ethereum the nexus of the smart home, or what's often called the Internet of Things. They're trying to coordinate all internet-connected devices, like washing machines, televisions, lights, heating, and more through an Ethereum-based network. For example, According to the company's research, a Samsung washing machine could recognize that it's low on detergent, order new supplies from a retailer, and use Ethereum smart contracts to pay for it. Imagine that for a second. You get home from work one day and there's a package of detergent that's waiting on your doorstep because your smart washing machine recognized that you were out, ordered some more, and paid for it on its own. The same might also be true of the dishwasher or an electronic pet feeder. That's the kind of future that Ethereum makes possible, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. Banks are interested in using blockchain technology to make trading and money transfers faster, safer, and more efficient. They're also exploring ways that they can use Ethereum to create, manage, and sell new financial products. Bitcoin is simply Bitcoin. But Ethereum could accommodate a vast array of financial derivatives. 11 of the world's biggest banks ran a financial services pilot program with Ethereum. Tech companies are pushing forward with their own Ethereum initiatives, too. Microsoft is working on several projects that use Ethereum on its Azure Computing Cloud. Ethereum is a general platform where you can solve problems in many industries using a fairly elegant solution, the most elegant solution we have seen to date. Like Bitcoin, Ethereum is a distributed public blockchain network. Although there are some significant technical differences between the two, the most important distinction to note is that Bitcoin and Ethereum differ substantially in purpose and capability. Bitcoin offers one particular application of blockchain technology, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that enables online Bitcoin payments. While the Bitcoin blockchain is used to track ownership of digital currency, Bitcoins, the Ethereum blockchain focuses on running the programming code of any decentralized application. 
In the Ethereum blockchain, instead of mining for bitcoins, miners work to earn Ether, a type of crypto token that fuels the network. Beyond a tradable cryptocurrency, Ether is also used by application developers to pay for transaction fees and services on the Ethereum network. Ether can be transferred between accounts and used to compensate participant nodes for computations performed. Before the creation of Ethereum, blockchain applications were designed to do a very limited set of operations. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, for example, were developed exclusively to operate as peer-to-peer -peer digital currencies. Developers faced a problem. Either expand the set of functions offered by Bitcoin, which is very complicated and time-consuming, or develop a new blockchain application and an entirely new platform as well. Recognizing this predicament, Ethereum's creator, Vitalik Buterin developed a new approach. Any services that are centralized can be decentralized using Ethereum. Think about all the intermediary services that exist across hundreds of different industries. From obvious services like loans provided by banks to intermediary services rarely thought about by most people like title registries, voting systems, regulatory compliance and much more. This is the functionality of smart contracts, scripting, which facilitate online contractual agreements. The entire ecosystem of Ethereum works on the basis of smart contracts. For the uninitiated, smart contracts are basically how things get done in the Ethereum ecosystem. To put it in layman terms, smart contracts are automated contracts that enforce and facilitate the terms of the contract itself. Ethereum is a spectacular public experiment that is showing the value of smart contracts on a public blockchain. It is the result of and the source of disruptive innovation of the likes that we haven't seen since the early days of the Internet. But when the day comes when enough of the masses decide to actively use and support tech like this, then cryptocurrencies may become the most disruptive technological innovation since the inception of currency. The power is in the hands of the people, and always will be. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment below.